Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Clarice. And I know that it's been a minute since I uploaded a video, I know it's super bad of me, but I promise that I've been up to something really good and so that's something that I wanna share with all of you later on. But I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm here. I didn't know if I wanted to share this particular DIY with all of you, I mean, it's not a DIY that I would totally recommend because it's not easy, but this is a DIY that I did for my own wedding. So I did tell all of you that I do want to share all the DIYs that I did. Whether, you know, that's something that I want to share with you because I want you to try it. I don't know. This particular one is a little bit tricky and I simply want to share it with all of you because maybe you can get some inspiration and possibly do it a different way yourself. Basically I had this idea in my head and I just went to my uncle's house. We're pretty handy and so we just whipped something up in like two minutes and said, okay, let's give it a try without actually knowing what the hell we're doing. But you know what, it turned out beautifully. This is gonna be part one, and I'll show you how we made the base, and then in the second video, I'll show you how I decorated it, in which you probably would really, really be excited to see that because there's so many ways of doing it. So yeah, this is kind of like a vlog or diary that I did for this backdrop, and I hope that you enjoy it. Okay, we're here. Hey, Dino. Then we have to draw the base, so we're gonna sketch it. Something like that? About 20 feet. Alright, there's our circle. We're here at the metal supermarkets, and I've never been here before, so this is gonna be fun. Ooh, oh, metal. I didn't even know this place existed. Yeah, something really thin. It's too thin? Look at that one. Oh. It's not gonna break? It's not gonna break. Okay, well, that's okay. Let's just not turn it into a swing. I want a swing. I want it to be a swing, but I'm afraid that if somebody sits on it, it's gonna become an oval. <laughs> Oh, you save even more. 30, 30 Woohoo, we got it. So I have to hold it? No. We're here, we're here. Right. Okay, so we got our metal, and now the only thing that we have to figure out is how to make it into a circle. So we're going to bind it together and make two into one, and then we're going to figure out how to make this. We're gonna try and bend it around a wheel, so yeah, sure. let's see. Okay, there's half of our circle. So as you see, we did a little bit of improvising there as far as bending this metal, but you know what? We did it. We took two pieces and all we have to do is weld it together. You see? actually go back to the metal place because um, we're thinking that it's a little too flimsy and it bounces a little too much so we're gonna get something to uh, bolt this side together It's apparently going to rust. Of course, it's metal. Ooh. Always protect it with paint. Um, maybe gray. What do you think of this project? Good size. All it needs is some flour. I think it's 
Oh. Way better that we bought this part because we were just gonna do this part. Oh, yeah. Thank you. half a day I had to go to the store twice but that's all good because it turned out just the way I wanted it like I said I don't know if this is a DIY that I would totally recommend you doing but maybe it sparked an inspiration for all of you so for the next video I'm gonna show you how I decorated the whole thing I'm gonna be doing so many holiday videos that are coming up so make sure you stay tuned if you haven't already subscribed make sure you do that be sure to comment down below gonna have tons of giveaways soon so i do want to see everybody comment because most likely i'll pick somebody who does that but thanks so much for watching i am so excited to be back and doing more videos with all of you and i'll see you in the next one bye